So today I'm answering questions from the Facebook group on 221G administrative processing. Um, and the question today comes, let me just see here if I can find this. It comes from somebody named Zihan. Zihan, hope you're doing well and you're safe. Um, and it says, thank you for your, uh, he's asking, he got this response from an embassy on an inquiry uh, and he wants to know if his case is on background check or normal administrative processing. It says, thank you for your email. Uh, our records indicate that your documents have been received. However, your case also requires administrative processing. It is your responsibility to keep the embassy updated. If your phone number, your address or phone number changes, we recommend that you contact us every two months to check on the status of your case. If you have questions, blah, 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 blah. Looks like it's in Pakistan. Um, it looks like it's an immigrant visa. So uh, again, this comes from one of the members of uh, a Facebook group that focuses on administrative processing, 221G and visa delays. Um, if you're if you're interested in these sorts of things and you're not a member of our Facebook group, uh, you can you can easily join. I'll put a I'll put a link below. Um, and uh, by the way, if you don't know me, I'm Josh Goldstein. I'm an immigration lawyer in Los Angeles, and I help people and families across the country and around the world get their visas out of administrative processing. I hate administrative processing and I sue consulates. I file writ of mandamus lawsuits against consulates to help people just like you, people who deserve to be approved, but they've been get, given the runaround from the consulates. So back to the question. Um, he got an email. Here's the email that he got. And he's saying, I got this response from the embassy or, on inquiry, is my case in background check or normal administrative processing? My opinion is that these emails um, that you get are, are essentially meaningless. They're meaningless. They don't really tell you anything. And I don't pay any attention at all to these sorts of emails. These are automated emails. They're not necessarily anything that has something specific to do with your case. It's not like someone is giving you meaningful information. What's the difference between a background check and administrative processing? There is no difference. These are just meaningless terms. There's only one question. The question is, do you have your visa in your hand? If you do have your visa in your hand, then you're approved and you're all set and you can return to the United States. If you don't have your visa, then there's some sort of a delay going on, whether they call it a background check or they call it administrative processing, or they say it's refused, or they say, um, you know, there's some other kind of delay. It doesn't matter. These are all just delays and excuses for approving, for not approving your case. You deserve to be approved and they're dragging their feet. And it says in the, in the email that you should check back every two months. That's meaningless. Nothing's going to happen in two months. Maybe they'll approve you, maybe they won't, but it has nothing to do with this automated email. Don't pay any attention to these automated messages. Don't pay any attention to what they say on the SEAC system, the State Department system. I don't think that those are meaning, meaningful ways they're communicating with you. Um, the only, there's only one question. Do you have the visa in your hand? If you don't, you have a delay. And you can take action. You don't have to sit and wait. That's what we do. We file mandamus lawsuits we sue the consulates, and after they sue, after we sue, they release the visa. I've filed three lawsuits against the consulate in Islamabad in the past few weeks, um, and I'm pushing to get all these people approved. The consulate in Islamabad uh, delays people routinely, and uh, there's something you can do about it. You can take action, and if you have questions about that, leave them in the comments below or get in touch with me, shoot me a message, and I'd be happy to help you with your case. Hope this is helpful. If you have more questions, let me know. Thanks. Good luck. Stay safe. We'll see you in the next video.